Alright guys, welcome to another Warplanes battle. Avalation here in the Mustang IA uh, during the bomber escort mode. As we climb for a bit of altitude here and uh, just looking to get a good uh, vantage point to start the first skirmish. The Mustang uh, this this particular Mustang is uh, ultimate spec, I guess you'd call it. Uh, it's fully calibrated, um, and it's spec for mainly for performance with a little manoeuvring on the side, um, and it's got no worries hanging around at this altitude, warding off that MiG there, and staying out of uh, the sights of the ME410. We were able to flip over and get onto the tail. And the four Hispano cannons uh, making short work of the ME 410 there, with a bit of help from my teammates, of course. And here comes Cranky. Uh, he's going after that XP-50 and I say well I'm gonna uh, follow you along there and uh, build up some speed guns overheating just there uh, but I do manage to get that last hit uh, fortunately before I had to start really turning and uh, or calling off the attack um, and Happily, sort of working through the uh, the what's left of, of that skirmish. I noticed the three uh, ground pounders off to my right here, and I decided to sort of do a damage pass, let the guns cool, and do another damage pass. I'm not worried about turning or finishing these guys off. I know there's plenty of blues around to do that. Um, I just want to carry on and uh, attack the the bomber group and especially anything that's protecting the bomber group uh, which means uh, Toto here once again using the uh, emergency health back there we're able to keep the guns doing their maximum damage at the distance there and finishing off the kill. We've got four uh, fighters and multi rolls coming in now though. Uh, I decide Cranky here is going to be the prime target. Um, with that sorted, his dial tone is uh, doing a pass of his own. Uh, but the F4F not really able to compete with the full spec Mustang here as we tick up an early winged legend and uh, Tanim Zoo there uh, with very little armor on his uh, Japanese Zero no trouble for the guns there now I'm tracking Vortage here, I probably should have let him go at this point instead of trying to dive and uh, turn um, as you can see it's land landing me a bit of hot water fortunately my teammates are around to uh, cover me and uh, we end up getting the last laugh here the bow fighter taken care of and the first bomber group defeated uh, we look to further damaging the uh, attackers offence and uh, sending them back as I put on some speed and try and catch up here giving Cranky another good uh, caning there <laughs> uh, he wants to turn but I'll have nothing to do with it I will carry on with my speed and uh, do a little dive and then just climb away 
it's Vortage though, the bot that's tailing me now. Um, I can tell by his terrible shooting that um, he's not a good shot. I can chuck a dangerous loop here where you would never get away with that against a, a good player or even a good bot. But um, this guy, not much of a threat. Scanning around now, and we've got Daltone uh, with a damaged engine, which makes him an easy target. IL-2 just up ahead, he's taken care of, so we set our sights on the bomber pack again. See this heavy coming in and decide to give him a spray. Uh, not going to spend too much time with him though as I can see that uh, most of my team is behind me there. And we're going to climb up to the bomber group and uh, see if we can help out our, up here. We've got Leaky in his P40 getting attacked by Cranky. Uh, so Cranky will be the first target in uh, in my sights. Put myself in a uh, bit of a stall there and paid the price for it though. So it's back to the respawn for me. Uh, fortunately these respawns as defenders uh, in this mode are nice and short so you can get back to the a action pretty quick. And same over again, we get up high and look to make a good strike from above. Picking out the MiG and then spotting Daltone. Uh, happy to return the favour here. And that leads on to uh, Toto once again. My spidey sen sensors started tingling there though and that dive started to feel a bit crowded so I hopped out of it and found Cranky uh, gunning for me. Um, I'm going to do a climb here, I'm going to turn towards the sun and I'm going to use my reverse camera and just make it super difficult for Cranky to get a good shot at me. I know I've got way more engine power than he does and I'm just going to keep going high until he tires out which I notice he's doing now which is the perfect time to swing around and bring some pain back his way just as he's bellying out there completely uh, cooked. Dalton's got me dialed in though um, I've got to do a, a corkscrew climb here to try and knock the flame out and put some distance between myself and he uh, in a bad state here but fortunately he's not in a much of a better one my climb there is save me and put him uh, out of any uh, maneuverability as well but uh, here comes Cranky <laughs> and uh, no fancy flying is going to get me out of that one So nine bombers uh, getting really close to the line here. Um, for some reason, I must have been daydreaming and I've decided to go for some easy targets here where I really should have been gunning hard towards those bombers. Um, and you're going to see the consequence of that very shortly as I uh, try and pick up an easy bow fighter. Keeping my height here, not wanting to commit to any uh, any dives just yet. And pushing to the outside to clear up the outside rather than 
pushing towards the inside of the pack there, but it really looks like uh, the blue team have got most of the reds on the run now anyway, so... Level off the wings and uh, line up those guns and head back towards the uh, next bomber spawn. Cranky's down there, but he's occupied with three to four other uh, heavies, uh, multi rolls, and light fighters, so we'll let them take care of business. And down to the last two bomber groups. Um, you can see that seven got through in that last attack, so this one's crucial. Um, really trying to get back as quick as I can to defend uh, against those bombers. It's not worth going after the ground pounders at this stage, I don't think. Um, it's really a, too much of an indirect way, you really just want to get straight at the bombers. Or, uh, as I do here, at, at the guys defending the bombers. Um, I'm happy to let my team do the work and concentrate on sort of the harder to uh, to hit um, attackers. So picking off the fighters and the heavy fighters is my main priority. Picking up the bot MIG there, and an ace, and unfortunately for Toto, uh, he's on the menu too. On the chopping block. Alright, that's almost the bomber group sorted now, and we've got... 12 bombers left in the last group. Uh, we're going to fix this bow fighter up one more time and uh, head northeast to try and cut off the bomber group. Um, I don't want to get straight into the tail fight there uh, behind the bombers. That could mean that I end up um, not only in the spawn point but also uh, too far behind the bombers to catch up if uh, it came to the final sprint. So trying to catch up to the pack now, you can see I just get ahead of the bombers here and then cut in to the pack that is quite preoccupied now which is perfect timing for me. Uh, coming in high and sort of working my way down and poor Toto, uh, he's He's racked up a few points for me this battle, so I should say thank you. Um, getting the Guardian there and swinging around to find that little zero. Just too easy uh, for the Hispanos. Got a few tailing me here. Spinning around now, we've only got five bombers to go. Um, getting a bit overwhelmed here to be honest. Uh, but that's alright, uh, down to two bombers and it looks like my team is uh, going to get the victory. victory is ours. We're for your so return. yeah, a handy little 45k game uh, with an ace and a guardian to uh, put the cherry on top and a handy 430,000 silver to go with it. Some good contributions there from our 109 pilot and uh, <laughs> old leaky sump. Vaquero getting a rocketeer and Ace Flight, you saw him a few times getting a rocketeer of his own. 
Uh, poor Toto there was still racking up a big score despite my incessant uh, pestering of him. Crank Yanker has done a really good job there too. And yeah, I did just quickly want to go over, uh, for those of you still watching at home, uh, over the the upgrades and uh, just to show you that it is a fully spec uh, setup. Uh, one maneuverability mod for the engine there. You could swap that to boost and play this plane even faster. Um, but I do... Uh, appreciate having a bit of extra maneuverability uh, when uh, push comes to shove. Uh, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that and uh, keep flying high.